Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for checking out today's video. So today we're going to take a look at Inferno Drags with Skeleton Spells. Had a few requests for that, so I thought I'd give that a try in Legends today. So what I basically do is the same thing I do with the Gaku Drags. I'm going to Wizard Blimp for the Town Hall. I'm only bringing three Invis Spells because I'm really only trying to get the Town Hall. I'm not trying to get um, a ton of value with it. I just need to cut pathing with the Town Hall down. And I think with four, you probably could have got maybe these two buildings here, maybe this, but probably not. So I'm only bringing three because they've been nerfed a bit. The chain value is not really as much as it used to be. So I feel like three is kind of the, the way to go, at least for now. We'll see down the road. <clears throat> well, excuse me. I'll lose my voice again. We'll see down the road if that changes. Anyways, uh, so I'm cutting the rest of the funnel with the baby drag down here at nine and then clearing out the CC and cutting the other funnel at 12 with the dragon. So I send in the regular drags and the inferno drags. If you've seen me play with drags lately, I've been liking the mix of the infernos and the regular drags. I just feel like it's so strong because the inferno babies, they take down high hit point buildings and heroes super fast. And then the regular dragons do splash damage. So if you run into skeleton spells or a really nasty CC, they take that down really quick. Okay, so here this base had multi-target Infernos, so I'm just trying to use the Skeleton spells to distract um, Expos, Scatter Shots, it just as much as I can because you're really not going to distract the multi-target Infernos very well, and it doesn't really matter that much with Dragons. They can take that heat for just a little bit of time, but yeah, so we're pushing our way through. We did have our Drags split into two packs, but they are being quite effective even in those two packs. The a few drags that went to the core took down the inferno in there and the drags that kind of went around the outside with the royal champion have cleared out all of the three o'clock side and if we could just get to that multi-target inferno we should be fine we do still have the royal champ ability so it's looking like this is most likely going to be a triple queen's even breaking into the wall no she's not okay so we have the inferno baby still cruising around royal champ one shot is all she had left on her and she takes down the scatter shot the same time it takes her down so that was actually really clutch but yeah inferno baby moves up gonna get that bomb tower to save us the time of having to beat through the walls queen could clean up the rest of the space by herself and that is going to be the first triple and this was the first raid of the day so it kind of felt like oh maybe there is something to this but yeah uh, we'll see as we get get going here Okay, so here we have a pretty common base, a little bit tweaked. This guy's done some tweaks. You can see the expos around the town hall. That's not at all how it normally is. And what I would normally try to do is come in behind the town hall here, and there would be a row of expos where this inferno is. But uh, this time I couldn't really do that, so I decided to come in here to get these two expos and the town hall down, just literally just for pathing purposes, not for anything else. So I'm just waiting, and there we go. Because I only have three invis spells, I'm finding that I want to kind of get closer to the town hall than I normally would have when I had the four, because you can miss the town hall quite easy, like you see here. They only got the town hall down and have one shot left to before the invis ran out, so um, finding I need to get a little closer to that town hall. Okay, balloons, dragons in. Heroes are going to go in at 12 for the funnel. And I'm going to put the first... Uh, uh, I also bring zaps for the um, sweeper. I didn't say that in the last raid, but I am also bringing zaps for the sweeper because it seems like people are catching on that drags are really OP. And so on defense, a lot of the sweepers are facing um, away from the town hall. They're kind of giving you the town hall, and then they have a sweeper facing where you want to enter with the dragon so it's been pretty valuable to have the zaps to take down the sweeper and then you can go in against that that angle and probably not find a lot of traps but again here we have two packs of drags going really strong I'm using the skellies I use most of them in the core and then I used one on the queen I used the poison on the queen because the CC got taken out by the the blimp and uh, it's working out pretty good down there slowly working our way through really need that scatter shot down the pack of drags that went down towards the town hall side went down too, but they did take out um, as many buildings as they could. 
and it actually is going to leave just enough base left that we are going to be able to take this baby down. We still have the queen ability, so everything should be good. Royal Champ is not going to make it through those expos, but that's okay. The king with a whole bunch of barbs is working his way around the outside. Queen and a few dragons will take out the rest of the defenses behind the walls. and We are going to have ourselves our second triple. Now, for this attack strategy, I only did four hits on my main account and four hits on my second account. And um, <clears throat> each account, I got two triples. So these are the two Lando triples. Now we'll go look at the two other triples. So, Town Hall's up here. Um, I'm finding with the strategy, too, I only got the two triples on each account, and I only did four hits um, on each account. The raids that were not triples were very high two stars, 99%, 95%, something like that. I think that's mostly because I'm very comfortable with this particular style of raid because I've been doing the Inferno Drag Dragon raid for a minute, especially with the uh, the Invis spell for the Town Hall with the blimp. I've been doing that already for a few days, so pretty comfortable with looking for the right pathing and um, knowing where I could get a lot of value. And sometimes you don't always want to blimp the Town Hall. I mean, Legend League it really behooves you to because most of the traps are going to be down there. The CC is there. and If you invis properly, you can kill the CC with the blimp. So it really makes it a lot easier on the heroes and dragons. But um, you don't always need to do that. Sometimes you find incredible value away from the town hall. Here I decided to go at the king with one of my inferno babies just to not have him pull my drags away because I was worried about the drags coming here. The king would pull them away and we wouldn't have a good push into the eagle scatter shots over here um anyway so here we go going right at the scatter shot uh this base in particular has a lot of funnel value for the heroes down here at nine and there go the drags gonna split into two packs again i really got to work on this funneling i constantly have my drag split into two packs and that's actually not in my opinion that's not the best thing you kind of want them to stick together although it does seem to work out here um, in the time fails, it doesn't work out. It's been kind of a headache when the dragons split and you have to make some tough decisions with your with your RC about how much value you could get when you realize that you're not going to be able to triple the base. Then it comes down to percent. And you're like, well, if I send the RC here, I can get the most value, but I'm definitely not going to triple. So, All right, so there we go with the Skelly on the single target Inferno. Hit the Queen ability, and now the single target Inferno is distracted by the Skellies, and the RC takes it down. Here we go, just working our way through. Plenty of drags left. This raid actually went very well considering. And that is another triple. Let's take a look at one more raid. Okay, one of these real cute box bases. Um, this one is kind of nice because you got the scatters right next to the town hall, so you're going to be able to get those down pretty easy. I zap the sweeper, and I'm going to send the blimp in from the same side that I zap the sweeper. Here we go. This is going to make sure that we for sure can get the scatter and the town hall. Keep invising. Change the angle of the invis to make sure that the scatter is not invisible. For some reason, the wizards took the long way to get to that expo. And there we go gonna beat up on the CC a little bit which is really nice because sometimes they end up popping the hound and killing all the pups it's really really nice and we almost popped the hound but not quite so we're gonna pull it out over here kill it with a baby drag and that baby drag will come down here and get some of these storages poison for the pups and we're gonna send our dragons in through here because we want to take down that queen fast as we can and we don't want to fight the sweeper over here I would prefer to come in this side to get the scatter shot but I don't want to have to fight the sweeper so this base also has all single target infernos which is really nice I'm gonna put all the skellies in these core compartments here to distract everything uh, except for this one that went to the queen but there we go I, I like to use the skellies to distract single target infernos expos the queen and um, obviously archer towers but most important are the expos the queen the royal champion and single target infernos 
So here we go. Hit the tome. All the dragons are in the core. We have Skellies driving the RC crazy. We have them also tanking the Inferno. Now the Inferno baby gets on the RC and she gets melted. And then another Inferno baby on the single target Inferno takes that down. All the dragons are slowly working their way through. They actually split up in the core in like a straight line, like north to south line from like 12 to 6. And just kind of push their way through the base like that. It was really nice. Whenever the troops are all working together like that, taking down multiple defenses at the same time, really hard for the base to defend. But here we go. RC takes down the last little bit of that Tesla farm down there at 6. And this is going to be another triple. So um, this is really strong uh, for sure. And it does take a little used to. Uh, it takes a little getting used to to be able to triple with this on a consistent basis, I think. But um, yeah, very strong attack. A lot of fun. So whoever recommended it to me, uh, thank you. And that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one.